People love playing with me, but hate it. When I play back, what goes around comes around. I just want to get right into it. Hi, everybody. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. We've got so much to talk about. I say that every day, don't I? We've got so much to talk about. I just got to get straight to it. So much uh, to talk about. So much to talk about. <laughs> Do we yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that much? <laughs> well, it's a lot. It's a lot because today I have to explain. Well, so I took my video down yesterday. I took it down yesterday because right after I finished that, I get a call that, no, she did file the lawsuit against uh, Sean Combs and I had to get all that updated. And then I was just tired. Okay, after that, I was, I was supposed to go back on. I was like, it could all wait till tomorrow because it's kickback Saturday. By the way, I just made that up, kickback Saturday. But don't you just feel like you can kick back on Saturdays? Well, I mean, that was my hopes and dreams. <laughs> you know, I like Saturday too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. All right, we got a lot to talk about. So, okay, playtime is over with, okay? We'll tell talk to you about uh the rumors supposedly now ti and uh nas allegedly hooked up with uh diddy and this is getting ridiculous oh my god there are so many crazy rumors out there that it gets in the way of the actual lawsuit and i think they do that on purpose so you're just focused over here and you're not really worried about what's going on so i'm going to be focusing on the lawsuit okay somebody said they haven't even gone to trial sherelle oh my god that that means you know nothing about the law you haven't heard about the uh pre preliminary hearings all of it okay so it's a lot going on so i'm going to try to break this down in layman's term i'm going to also say again Court is a different beast. The public opinion does not matter in court. You can say uh, Diddy's guilty a hundred times. They don't give a damn. It's about what you can prove, okay? Now, I'm tired of telling y'all this. I'm tired of telling y'all this, but it is what it is. And so uh, we're going to go over all of that. And let me start with the basics. Let me start with the basics. Because people have forgotten even the basics. Uh, somebody asked me yesterday, oh, Sh uh, uh, Shine turned on on uh, <laughs> Diddy? Yeah, Shine turned on Diddy and, and, and J-Lo's in trouble now. Oh my God. Yeah. Now, so Martin Martin came, Martin Roland Martin came on the other day and he was very frustrated and he was going off on bloggers. And I was like, you're just mad, uh, Martin, because we get to talk about the rumors and you don't. Mm -hmm. But I kind of understand what he's talking about now. It's really hard when the public is focused on things that aren't important because this is an important case. This is a very important case. I just lost my place. And so, oh. And I'm on another page. Love your channel. Hey, Sherelle and Perry. I'm right. Oh, hey, thank what's you. Up? They're so sweet. All right, let's get into this. And I'm going to try to go over this really, really quickly. So today we're going to talk about uh, Diddy actually hiring the mob boss. The real reason why he put the videotape out victory yesterday. Child, that was a <laughs> mess. That's a mess. We're going to talk about yeah. that. We're going to talk about uh, how much trouble Little Rod's uh, attorney's in. He's in deep. Deep y'all thought he was in trouble yesterday when I was telling y'all that the judge was saying that he's doing everything for show, 
uh, they find they he he had sanctions yesterday, and then he turns around right after I tell y'all and does the same thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> like you might want the damn uh, judge to not even like you, but not to hate you and be on your back. So we're gonna talk about uh, Misa going through with the lawsuit with the new mob boss. What's his name? The mob guy. His name Jeffrey Lichman. All right. So, but let me go back to the basics really quickly, just so y'all can understand. So I'll put in those rumors. I'll play that stupid tape about allegedly Diddy coming on to Nas. Nas. <laughs> y'all trying to say that Diddy hooked up with Nas and T.I. Did you see how ridiculous this is getting? No, okay. I mean, it sells though. Like a lot of people want the juicy, the outrageous things to go on. So they'll tune in for it. Like I'm saying, like, man having baby, uh, <laughs> monkey child, all this stuff. People get fascinated with Sherelle, and most people enter the front door, run past the living room, the kitchen, and going straight to the bedroom. <laughs> That's what they want to hear. We're not, uh, I'll talk, talk about that stuff later. All of that. You're not to be worried about J-Lo right now. She is not in trouble. That case is not going to court. I don't know why people keep telling you this. You should see my inbox. Oh, someone's saying that J-Lo's going to end up in prison. What? Shut up. So let's talk about the stuff that happened, okay? Because at least I know, well, at least I said what was really going on. Now, you can't really control the rumors and all that stuff but i can over here all right so it all began with the cassie case okay she filed a complaint this did not go to court okay filed a complaint but they they counted in all of his lawsuits they go he has five lawsuits case cassie's case is counted but it was settled out of court mm -hmm. allegedly for 30 million you guys understand that's not an open case okay Next, we have uh, the Dickerson Neal versus Combs. This is the Aaron Hall case. This happened in 91. Oh, what, 27? I'm going to say 30 years ago. 30 years ago with Joy Dickerson. Okay. This is the one when Aaron Hall went in and talked about being a pimp and how he, if he <laughs> sees something, he wants it, he takes it. Because, mm -hmm. first of all, why isn't his ass in the, this damn lawsuit? But anyway, that's. So that's one case, but that's back 30 years ago. I'm going to round it up. 27 years ago, whatever. So we got one current case with Cassie that's closed. You've got one case in the 90s. Now, the cases in the 90s are going to be very hard to prove, okay? Very hard to prove. So you got one in the 90s. You got two in the 90s. This is Liz Gardner. This happened around the same time. Joy's lawsuit happens. So we got two lawsuits that are in the 90s. These two are going to be very, very hard to prove. Okay. So, mm -hmm. in a sense, it's not going to, it, it really probably will not amount to anything. Okay. Then we got the Jane Doe. Jane Doe is refusing to tell her name. Okay. So this happened in 03. This is with uh, Harve Pierre and another gentleman. Uh, this is allegedly happened in the studio, but 03 is still a long time ago. And this is even harder to prove because she doesn't want to tell you, tell you who she is and uh, submit the evidence to the public. Right. Now, that's going to be hard to prove, very hard to prove. The judge said, no, she's got to come out and tell her name. And then uh, she filed a um, appeal and all that stuff. So. What they decided to do was take all of these cases and round them up into one. Now, the most important case is the Little Rod case. Oh, that's not even on here. The Little Rod case. Here it is. Because it's up to date. We're talking 2022, these allegations, okay? So I'm going to explain this to you one more time. They couldn't, they can't really take the other three back because it was damn near 30 years ago. All of them. Harv was on 03. So what they did was they took all of these cases, all the evidence from these cases, and tried to wrap them up in one. Does that make sense? Okay. 
So uh, we and, and, and it's not looking good when you try to prove a case from 30 years ago. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's very hard to prove. Right. I mean, a lot of people can't remember what happened two years ago. OK, so we got all of those civil lawsuits going on. Now, let's talk about the feds. And I'm going to have Emily D. Baker explain this to you. You guys want to know what's really going on and not there for the tabloid stuff and all that. Go to Emily D. Baker. She's my favorite, one of my favorite attorneys on the Internet. I've known, how long have we known her now? For a long time. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. What yeah. she's saying is they took all the evidence from those cases, evidence with the S, and submitted this to a judge. This is how they got a warrant. Okay. They don't have an arrest. They have a warrant from everything that was submitted. They took all these and round them up. So in the little, and with majority of it being in the little rod, Rodney Jones case, I keep calling him little rod. Okay, fine. Let me let that explain, Emily explain this in this clip. So she starts out, she's talking about Cassie. I'd be surprised if she's already talked to federal prosecutors before this happened as this investigation was underway. A raid like this does not happen first. You have to have probable cause to go in and execute search warrants like this and probable cause that you think what you're looking for is going to be at the location you're searching. And that's not going to happen without talking to individuals. And this all went down a month after Little Rod's civil lawsuit was filed. So do I think the volume of lawsuits could have helped? Yes. It's going to indicate to federal prosecutors who to talk to. It's a list of these are the individuals that are making complaints against Sean Combs. In addition to those that have spoken up on podcasts and videos on social media, those who have called out his behavior in the past, some that have been calling out his behavior for years. Okay, this is how they get the warrant. They combine all of the cases together and they go in and they look for whatever they're looking for. The rumor is the tapes. Okay, fine. So they did that and they found nothing. They still have not turned in their final warrant. So they have a 98% conviction rate. Means if I can get you to court, most likely I'm going to win. But right now they have nothing on Diddy. I don't care if you don't like him. It's just the facts because he will remain free until they can get enough evidence and go through the proper procedures. That's just how America works. Right. So all of this talking about I'm team Diddy. No, I don't think they're going to get Diddy at all on this case. They're going to have to go back to the Kim case. Hi, Jean. Regular. Little Ra is a big fraud. Okay, so let's talk about this case. So they mostly went in from the stuff, the information they got from Little Rod. Little Rod's uh, lawsuit is falling apart. Mm hmm he can't get anybody to testify. That's one. They're not even talking to the feds. They say, what do you know about Puffy and in, in the day that he pow pow the person at Shalice uh, Studios? And they say, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Or I wasn't there. You can't. Well, what are you going to do? Is he paying people off? Most likely. Right. But that doesn't mean he's going to get off because he's paying people off. You guys have to understand how the law works. So they go up in there and his, his case is falling apart. So now they have no witnesses. They went from a whole bunch of witnesses to one who wants to be uh, anonymous. That's not going to fly in court, right? Then we get little Rod's attorney. Blackburn, Tyrone Blackburn. Let me put his picture up here because this man has to be one of the worst attorneys on the planet. And I don't give a damn what his record is. It is I think my son, my 20 year old could have did a better job. OK, this is little Rod's attorney, Blackburn. There's only one other one other blogger that understands how this case, how he is blowing the case. And mm -hmm. calling him out. That's Tasha K. Everybody else is talking about stuff that does not matter. J-Lo has nothing to do with this case. Nothing. 
I don't care what you think. What else was Nas hooking up with Nas and, and T.I.? Right, right. That's just salacious gossip. So you can, you know, that's the rumors. And that, and there's nothing wrong with that. I do that too. But I want to talk about why they ain't lose this case. Enters Tyrone Blackman. Okay, so yesterday I read you the paperwork in which he got accused of lying on his paperwork inventing things up, making things up. So he'll file a amendment, right? And he'll accuse someone of something. Then he'll wait a couple of days. He'll take the amendment back and then replace it with something else. <laughs> like right. you're supposed to put your evidence up front. Okay. Uh, he got accused of dragging it out, taking a long time to fill out paperwork. And the judge herself said, He's doing this for publicity. So the judge told him this. You're not even doing it for Little Rod. You're happy because you got a case with a big celebrity. And so I want my name in the paper. I want my name on, you know, out there. I, I want to be a, a big old attorney, a very famous attorney now. But you are messing up. Okay. This happened two days ago. Then they find out, this is Diddy's attorneys, that he's done it in another case. Not only did he do this in another case, they're calling it breaking rule 11. He gets sanctions for it, okay? Mm -hmm. The other judge tells him, you're, gonna, you're putting your license in danger. You're putting your license in danger if you do this again. Then they contact the current ju judge because they're supposed to go to court April 9th. And they say, before you go to court, Judge Coates already sanctioned Mr. Blackburn for doing these things. And not only did he do it to them, he's doing it to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying to make this make sense to you people. Playing okay, dirty. So, playing dirty. Huh? He's, he's playing, playing dirty. dirty. Yeah. They said he's been harassing us. He's been doing things for public attention. He's intentionally doing things that cost a lot of money to raise the prices. Uh, and uh, he has no evidence to support his claims because he's saying that Motown is at the head of this X ring. And Motown's mm -hmm. like, show us your proof. Their attorneys are like, show us a proof. He never showed any proof to bring in uh, Lucian. Crane? No, Grange, me. Grange. I got it this time. Lucian Grange. Okay. So, uh, so now he's got this. So he's got to deal with this on uh, the ninth. Okay. Okay. That seems bad enough, right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, what do you do now, it's Joe? Unbelievable. So all of a sudden, he comes up with this new case last night and did exactly what he did the first time. He doesn't go to the uh, courts first. He uh, goes to the media. And now, instead of suing P. Diddy, he's suing Christian Combs. Okay? And there's uh, and she's saying that he uh, laced her drink and uh, did Freaked things her. to her. Yeah. Okay. He supposedly has a tape. I'm about to play this tape in a minute. You did exactly what the judge told you to stop doing. And for me, in my opinion, this is why Diddy played that song last night on his um, social media. You're about to get removed from the case, sir. You are blowing the case. Once again, you need to the one of the dumbest men in New York. Because he wants fame. He reminds me of Bishop Whitehead. Do you guys remember Bishop Whitehead? <laughs> like he just, he used to show up in the suits and he wanted the flash and he would hold press conferences till it got real. So this is a big game to Mr. Blackburn, Attorney Blackburn, because he's thinking, as long as I get my name in the paper. And so what happens yesterday? He goes and gives the case to the public again. This time they're suing Christian. Let me go ahead and play this. And, 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 and he says he did some things to a woman. Okay. And also there's a witness. There's a witness this time. 
And the witness is Little Rod. <laughs> Come on now. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. I mean, Little Rod is everywhere. <laughs> he in and Diddy's bedroom, Rod. your bedroom. And then he said he found a, a witness in Little Rod's case. We finally got a witness to come through. And it's this new girl who I cannot pronounce her name. So I'm going to call her Grace. Grace O. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. It's O apostrophe M-A-R-E-A-I-G-H. That's some, I don't know how to pronounce that name. So let's go ahead and play the tape of what was passed around the public yesterday since he wants it out there and then know that you're in big trouble for this. You, this is the third time and you guys haven't even stepped foot in a courtroom yet. This has all been preliminary things that's been going on. I'm not understanding it. The, the judge herself, the judge says you're doing this to make Sean Combs give you money, a plea deal, settle out of court. Right. That's why they think he's doing this. So let me play this because I'm not trying to mess anything up because I'm tired of explaining things. Here we go. For the quick money, yeah. How? I said he's looking for the quick money. He's it's not looking good. good. In I'm the meantime, huh? in the meantime, Sean Diddy Combs has really some serious allegations that he needs to confront. He probably should be in jail, but you're never going to get in jail if you keep blowing it. And now that they hired the new mob lawyer, I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. 31 page lawsuit filed on Thursday details a trip in 2022 where the plaintiff alleges she was working as a stewardess aboard a yacht owned by Combs when his son, Christian, drugged and sexually assaulted her. The lawsuit alleges that an audio recording made during the night in question is evidence of the woman denying his advances as he gropes her. The plaintiff's lawyer provided those clips to NBC News. In one recording, a woman believed to be the alleged victim is heard saying, Excuse me, you don't touch my Please. legs like that. T I'll move my legs the way I want to. Uh, right. If I want to do this, then I will. <laughs> you don't touch my legs like that. Soon after, according to the lawsuit, Christian speaks and tries to get her to stay. Who can I talk to? I'm going to say you. Requ I requested you right now. Well, you can take your hand off my for the first thing. According to the lawsuit, the alleged victim then left the recording studio and attempted to resume her stewardess duties. But the suit alleges Christian found her again, this time asking her to find him a place to sleep. She claims she showed him to a cinema area, but instead of resting, she alleges in the suit that he became violent and wouldn't let her leave. He groped her, the lawsuit claims, took his clothes off, grabbed her arms, and tried to force her to perform oral sex on him. The woman claims she fought him off until someone else walked in. The lawsuit includes photos of a bruised forearm, allegedly the victim's. As for Christian's famous father, the suit claims he turned what was sold as a wholesome family excursion on his yacht into a hedonistic environment where employees were exposed without their consent to unlawful drug use, sex work, and general chaos. Representatives for Christian and Sean Combs did not respond to NBC's request for comment. Okay, so, okay, so that that's what's going down in the new case. And the new girl, her name is Grace. Uh, her witness is little rod okay you're not going to win this case with the attorney that you have little rod you have to get rid of him because he is pissing off the judge breaking the rules and turning this into a shit show i don't understand if they tell you and you get sanctioned stop giving your evidence to the um media you think they're joking with you this could be a winnable case, but you're turning it into a joke. Yeah, a mockery. Yeah, it's 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 ridiculous, and all it takes is little a little detail, little things to happen for you to blow a case. Yeah, they most likely say, "Have you ever seen your attorney say, don't talk about anything, like stay away from the media." Don't say anything. You got Rod going on his social media. You got him always giving the information to the press first. And the judge called you out. 
and saying you're doing this for fame. That's mm -hmm. not a good, that's one judge. That was Judge Coates. Now on the on the ninth, which is next week, you gotta go in front of this judge and explain your actions that you did last night. It's a mess. It's a mess. You're gonna you're gonna fub the case and everybody's gonna be mad at you. Yeah, maybe they can take Puffy back on some other stuff, maybe the Kim Porter case, but you have an opportunity now. What what are you doing? Okay, so we got that. I'm trying to get paid quickly. Like, nobody does that, right? In my mind. Mm -hmm. Like, you're an attorney. You already got one with LaRod lawsuit that's mm -hmm. pending, going through, right? Mm -hmm. Why would you get somebody heads up? You know, I'm just going to let you know. I don't talk to Diddy's lawyers and whatever. I got this stuff, and I will be filing it soon. I got evidence. I got pictures. <sighs> so if you just happen to wake up tomorrow morning and want to make a settlement, Please give me a call. Harry, I swear, none of it made any sense. Here, I just found this. I just found this letter that Diddy's side wrote to the judge. Okay, so, you know, it goes into the that he had a meeting and with the other judge, Judge Cote, and um, this is, is what she said. A reasonable interference from Blackburn's pattern of behavior is that he improperly files cases in federal court to garner media attention. This is a judge saying this. Hopefully you guys can see it. Media attention. She said embarrassed defendants with salacious allegations like you be lying. You putting stuff out there that's not true. And pressure defendants to settle quickly. This is a judge telling him this. They're not playing with you. Indeed, his submission to this court have been rife and disturbing allegations against the defendant and defense counsel. So you, you're about to get in trouble for this on the ninth. That's what one judge said to you. Said it. So, you know, you're messing up. So I'm thinking little Rodney's a different attorney. But like you said, he might be doing it pro bono because this guy wants to be in the media so bad. That's what it sounded like to me. Like, I don't know, but I'm just guessing. Mm -hmm. Rod don't sound like he got that much money and, and he want to get a payday. The attorney sound like he's somebody that want to be known. He want to go from little city to worldwide. He, he He's just yeah. messing up. Okay. And okay, so... Diddy has a team of lawyers. We know they're the best of the best. They're great. Let's talk about Christian's new attorney. El Chapo. He represented El Chapo. I'm not making this up. El Chapo, John Gotti Jr., The Game, uh, Fat Joe. He's supposed to be a mob attorney. His name is, hold on, Jeffrey Lynchman. Okay. Enters the mob, okay? Um, and which is um good mob attorneys have an att have a reputation of being what would you say uh stern with the judges well i mean i mean for, i mean for the most part i think that like when you're going through a civil case you get a civil attorney mm -hmm. and i think when you sort of flirting with a rico charge you yeah want to yeah in that area you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Listen, Lynchman is a seasoned attorney, mm -hmm. uh, used to dealing with RICO cases. He too likes attention, but he knows how to do it right. Let's talk about his attention. So he's representing Christian, okay? He's also representing Misa. So they're supposed to file, a, go to court, file a lawsuit, because of the way that uh, the raid went down. Now, is he going to win this? No, <laughs> because the, the, the feds can go in and mess your house up and arrest everyone. They, ha they had every right to do what they did, and usually they're not questioned about it. But they have a picture of one of the people in the raids, and I seen it, I can't show it, with a G-U-N to Christian and Justin's head. Mm. This is where he wins in the public opinion. 
when you guys see like anybody who has children, it wasn't just a G-U-N. It was about that big. I don't know the names of these stuff. And mm-hmm. it had laser, but they put it to his head, to his head. Mm-hmm. He's not going to win the case, but the public are going to say, hey, uh-uh, that was overkill. You don't do anybody's kids like that. And don't mm-hmm. forget, uh, what's her name? Chance was also in handcuffs. That's his 18-year-old daughter. So he's trying to get sympathy from the public. What else? That's that's what you're doing. Right. right. He's not going to win the case. But how many times are you going to have to see him uh, putting that GU in to his child children's head? That that's uh, it's yeah, it's legal. Do they do anything wrong? No. But then they're going to sh- show the the laser beams. They're going to show the mm-hmm. airplanes. They're going to show the boats. They're going to show this overkill how it did to a man that didn't even have a uh, an arrest has never been arrested. Okay, so. That, that's 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 not a good look. Okay, it's really not a good look. But he's gonna drag it for all that it's worth. Right. Then mark my words. I I no other blogger is gonna tell you this. I'm just gonna have to say it straight out. I hate saying this, but that I'm telling you guys what I believe in my heart and what I'm hearing. He's going to bring in the race card. Right. He's going to say, what white man have you done this to? What famous white men, children, have you put GUNs to their head? Yeah. Johnny Johnny Conklin did it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it was just a story, what, two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. The Nick, uh, Nick Nolian town or whatever, right? Oh, gosh, yeah. Those Uh freaks. And and, and we're talking about minor kids. Mm Mm-hmm. They, Everybody. Had, they, they, they invited him to come mm-hmm. to talk to him. You know, neighborhood what watch. I agree with you. Uh, yeah. uh, J- Justin's in his thirties, and 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 uh, Christian's in his late twenties. These are grown men, but they're also his children. They're also African American, and that's what attorneys do: muddy up the water. When you bring in the race card. It is a complicated matter. Right. Because black people are going to say, yeah, you know, that that's overkill. And, and then white people are going to say, no, they didn't break the law. And then it just turns into a big mess. Right. That's what they're going to do. Yeah. I mean, the game played on both sides, right? Even like the feds, mm-hmm. when they do a raid, they can do them all kind of ways. But... They wanted to really show their side. Like, these black men are dangerous to society, right? Now, could be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But on, 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 on uh, the other side, uh, Diddy's turn is going to say, hey, they don't do this to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? So they mm-hmm. go teetering. Like, headline news, black man house get a ra- uh, raided. Not just any black man, P. Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's big news. So both of them play that, you know, game. And that's what there's, and this is not going to be an open and shut case. So the audience is like, oh, he's guilty. And he did this and he did that. You still have to prove it in a court of law. Right. Just, OJ got away. He got away. Yeah. So don't think. And and I it really bothers me that people don't understand that, yeah, he's a bad man, and I believe Cassie a hundred and a thousand percent. Believe her. Mm-hmm. Nobody makes that up. It's just the way that our country is. You have to go through a lawsuit. And it's so many things that can muddy up this. That's why I'm saying. This might not even go to court, but it might not. they're not I mean, going to pay you either, Mr. Blackburn. They're just not. Diddy's not paying you. And anyway, so when they found out, I guess, yesterday that, you know, he gave all the stuff to the media, just like they told him not to do. <laughs> it's ridiculous. 
let's see what else. Let's see what else before I start talking about the real ridiculous stuff about Diddy hooking up allegedly with Nas. I wonder if I should play that tape. So that's where we are in the lawsuit with uh, Sean. King, they call him King, Christian, and his dad. All right, I'm not going to show these paperwork. Uh, we explained everything in the little clip that I uh, seen. Let's go on and talk about these tapes that are appearing on the internet. Okay, so there was supposed to be a tape of Meek Mill and Diddy. I'm not playing that, hooking up. Um, I don't know. Yeah. How would I know? How would I know what they sound like in the bedroom? <laughs> Oh no, I'm not playing because it's vulgar. Let me see how much of this I can play with this Nas thing. Okay, so this tape is going around social media and it's supposed to be a bodyguard talking to someone and he explains how he came in the room. Oops, that's not it. And first thing, all the men had no clothes on. It's supposed to be T.I. and Nas in this group. First of all, first of all, let me say this before I play this tape. They want so a lot of people, maybe 50 Cent, some people want to prove so desperately that Diddy's gay. What does it matter? Who cares? You're allowed to be with whoever you want to be with. I have lots of gay friends in the gay community. Uh, Y'all know every time I bring someone, I love get. I love a good gay man. Okay, I love consciousness of my good for. I love a gay man, but they're trying to make it salacious. But let's just say he was. Who gives a damn? That's mm -hmm. number one. Fifty. Who cares? Fifty. That's not news. I hope I can play this because I haven't edited it yet. So let's go through this tape that's supposed to be T.I. hooking up with Diddy. It's so ridiculous. The rumor mill is once again churning, hearkening back to 2011, when a mysterious informant approached celebrity gossip writer Jackie Jasper with a salacious video allegedly featuring Sean Diddy Combs engaging in homosexual acts with well-known figures such as ex-BET executive Stephen Hill Divine Stevens, Nas, and T.I. However, before the footage could be released on HollywoodStreetKing.com, the source disappeared without a trace. But now, new evidence has surfaced confirming the existence of the tape, with an associate verifying its authenticity after viewing it. And for the first time, we have audio from a phone conversation between Jasper and his supposed inside source, a former bodyguard for Diddy. If it wasn't the truth, then it wouldn't be on film. What? What's happening in this film? Come on, man. <laughs> I can't do nothing until I see it. What's it's happening in speaking, this film? It's some, it's some dirty type of stuff going on because whatever room they are in at the, um, at the uh, W, whatever room mm. they are in, you can see why would grown men be sitting around with their dick out and sitting there and um what's his name um jerking dude's dick jerking one of their dicks i think it was divine but i should i keep okay. going perry well i love I don't know. no footage <laughs> okay okay i have locked it in my safety <laughs> deposit box if something like this comes out shit's gonna hit the fan okay wow that should be enough uh i don't want to play the whole thing but i'm gonna put the whole thing on my Instagram, supposedly you heard her, this security guard said that he walked in on T.I. and Diddy and Nas and uh, another guy. I don't think, Jennifer, I put you up there. Jennifer, do me a favor, make a comment, uh, please, in the last video so I can re-rent you. I tried to do it yesterday, but I just couldn't find you. So many people named Jennifer. <laughs> um let's let's keep going because so many people are playing it let's go put it that way oh yeah oh a lot of people are gonna be putting themselves in check on a lot of yeah. different things a lot of people gotta come out and have some explaining to them 
You know what's funny? You 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 can when you put this out, this part of it out, they have to come out and say something now. They have to. I know they do. I'm gonna be in LA on Saturday. That's why I asked. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I'm I'm right out here. I'm out here. Okay. Somebody told me about what y'all was doing. I said, wow. wow. I'm just gonna get the memory card up there and never know where it came from. I just want to make sure that I can get the information and the and the little video footage this guy has. I want to make sure I get it to you. Oh, what's it regarding? What, what, tell, me, tell me what's going on. Uh, okay, it's regarding the Stephen Hill stuff that you just brought up. Uh-huh. A guy filmed some stuff on his cell phone that Stephen don't know about. Guy, and I got the and memory and, card. And you, have you seen this already? I already looked at it, and I can't get into uh, it. It's interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let you really? judge it. When you look at it, I'm going to let you judge it. I know you want to yeah. get involved in it, but when I lose, you know what's funny? I, I've been a bodyguard for 19 years, so I'm a, okay. my thing is I just saw a lot of things, but I just do my job. And, and that's what I do for like my kids. I don't, you know, get in whatever somebody else do, that's their business. But when the guy approached me with the memory card and said, look on this, I said, wow. <laughs> okay, so this could really entertain. So he said on the memory card, so that means that he has this on tape? Well, that's Is what that he said. Okay, okay, I'll keep going. Yeah. That's really, you might have to move from L.A. after that. <laughs> when this videotape was brought to me, I done had this tape for four weeks. And then when you brought up what you brought up, I said, wow, mm -hmm. maybe it's time to just give it, just hand it over to somebody. So I approached somebody else. I don't want to say no name to put it out mm -hmm. there. And mm -hmm. they didn't want to put, they didn't want to put it out there. How many people, how many other people know about what you got? That, no, that don't nobody know about it. They didn't even get a chance to see it. I had it in my hand to hand to them. I showed, I said, you can stick this in now and look at it. They didn't want to do it. They said they didn't want to have nothing to do with it because he's washing, they're washing their hands too. So, you know, he's, he's got gangster, huh? Miss Deborah Lee for BET. Miss Deborah Lee, she can't even imagine what it's going to do when you when you show this memory card. <laughs> well, I mean, this is special because you know what we need to do. They got the awards coming up on the 26th. We need to, we need to you know, drop it almost the same time. <laughs> because, I mean. Now, I haven't heard this. Are they saying that they're going to release the tape? Well, yeah, That's basically. <gasps> Oh God, I don't like talking about people's sexuality. Just let me keep going, man. Look, if you drop that at the same time, brother, imagine that. Oh my God. I love it that somebody's not scared to say anything and bring awareness to certain things that's going on because that that's a lot of stuff that needs to be known out there. And I'll get the memory card to you. I'll be on this from Saturday until uh, Wednesday. So, okay, what time, what time, what time Saturday are you getting in town? Um, I think we get in at 11.25 a.m. We'll be at the, uh, what's the name of the hotel? Uh, I keep forgetting the name of, but we will be at, the, it used to be the St. James Club on Sunset. You had Nas's name, Puffy's name, Steven's name. I mean, what, what, what are three, all these three guys doing? Are they doing something deranged? I mean, like. This happened when um, they had the Hip Hop Awards, uh, when T.I. was out of jail. Mm -hmm. And uh, the T.I. is in it. You got, uh, what's the name, Harrell. You got, what's the guy named, uh, Divine Stevens. And a few of the other guys. I, mean, I can't think of the other guy's name. But, um, you know, for years, people have saying, you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know, a lot of people, for years, well, people already know about Divine it's Stevens and Akon. That's, that's a man. known fact. Who's dick with Divine Jerky? Who's dick with he Jerky? Stephen Hill was jerking Divine Stevens' dick. <laughs> and I got that to show you. So when you get that, if you show that before the BET Awards, they done. He's done. Some people scared. Some people get scared to do stuff. I even have a person, it's one person that I know is a good friend of mine. Her name is Terry Brown. She's, uh, she works with, I was going to give it to her because she deals with a lot of people, um, at uh, channel, uh, what is it, KCAL. And okay, so, um, I was gonna give it to her. And um, but um, me and her was talking about it, and she was, and she just said, be very careful with it, because she said that 
it's going to expose some stuff that's going to cause a lot of problems. <laughs> Man, who cares? That ain't no problems. That's the truth. Let me let me give you my um my, my cell number personally. Three four seven six six one two six one four. Have you heard anything backlash from anybody or anybody called you to say anything? They don't. They don't say anything. They know it. They know the house is on fire. You know what I'm saying? So right, it, it's going down, but everybody got duct tape on their mouth. Whenever you on and you need somebody to, to when you ever, whenever you want to do a phone interview, you let me know, and I can care less. I give my number, they can call me because they not gonna call me and say nothing because they know I'm standing right there. So you gonna get the tape regardless. You are gonna get the little memory card. It's up to you to do how you gonna get it on, to, you know, to be shown. Whatever way you, whatever you do with it, they gonna really be shocked to see how you got that. I was never worried about it, you know. Just like, let me explain something to you. Just like one of the people that I worked for in Atlanta, the, the, they never bought it out. But the only reason why Eddie Long settled with those people is because the boy had it on his cell phone. They taped it. That's why they settled. Okay, yeah, so and it's more people coming. So they're talking about blackmail, right? <laughs> what? Well, I mean, this is just insane. The stuff they're talking about, like uh, one of the comments you have brought up, people always talking about a videotape, but haven't produced a videotape. Now, whether you agree uh, somebody else's sexuality, it just is what it is. People can do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to agree with it. First but, of all, Mm -hmm. All this, I mean, what if it was true? If it's true, that's their business. You don't right. out people. You don't out people. That's Maybe point, Diddy, right? but right, right. not T.I. and not Nas. Leave them alone. Hey, Gene, if anyone believes this, Seiko, <laughs> I mean, we don't know. I, and Naomi, I put her thing up. Naomi said... It's probably from the 80s. This is what's going around the internet. This is the hottest right. news. Look what happened to Meek Mill. If you just tie anybody to Diddy, they're done. And mm -hmm. so Nas, I love, I love Nas. Mm -hmm. I like T.I. Ugh, why y'all, what? Oh. Let's see what y'all say. This is ridiculous <laughs> look oh, look at this y'all <laughs> no he's not i don't think he is but it's none of my business i don't like talking about people's sexuality when this is supposed to happen i don't know this is the thing that's going around the internet yesterday all last right. night and they were dragging nas and uh ti this convo just sounds like some ninjas gossiping in my opinion i hope you're right i mean for the most part that would it sound like I am sick of the media. They accuse people without proof. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Stormy. They have everyone gating them before there is proof. The, if he is guilty, throw his butt under the jail. We all these rumors and, and all this talk is coming about because what four women allegations to Diddy? Why aren't we talking about the four women? And then, of course, the one male, <laughs> Little Rod. Right? Now, but now we don't went off to down the rabbit hole about these people's <laughs> sexual experience over the last 20 years. But look, you know, everybody going, you know, T.I. already had him and, and Tiny had that crazy relationship going on where everybody be talking about them with the, you know, the strippers and the, the prostitutes and the lacing. Remember right. the Molly? This but is a it, mess. It seemed like both of them was fine with it. If all that was true. Mm -hmm. T.I. and Tiny both was fine with it. I mean, they wasn't breaking the law. If they chose to share their bed, mm -hmm. you know, their fetishes with somebody else, that's what they did. <laughs> like, I just say This is crazy. It's too much for me. It's too much. But uh, the, the Diddy tape of, of uh, Christian, I don't know what Christian sounds like. I don't think I ever heard him talk before. So I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know if that tape is legit. I don't I don't no, know. No, I mean that too, right? And then like most people these days and have camera phones, right? Mm -hmm. So who actually just do a recording? And if you go tell a man, don't be touching my leg. If I wanted to, I will. If I wanted to, 
Right, I get it. You will what you want to, but why is she still there having this conversation? Not going to her ship. I mean, I don't know what you call the guy on the yacht, whoever she worked for. Something. But, and that conversation could have went down like that. But where is the actual proof? Wait a minute. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Abigail Gale says, Little Rod, lawyer, was the same one that went after T.I.? Is that true? Hold on, y'all. I got to do it. I can't see y'all. I'm on another screen right now. Uh-uh. This man is going to lose this case for Little Rod. And this is what I would say to you, why you're looking for that. I mean, because oftentimes, like, all these allegations going uh-huh. after Kitty, nobody's saying they're wrong, but the fastest way to get dismissed is be discredited, right? Mm-hmm. Once you start discrediting a, a, a person with allegations and they lying about this part, it could have been telling the truth about the other one, you're just going to assume they're a liar. It's so nice. if if Lil Rod feel like he got a beef with Diddy because Diddy fingered him. Oh, God. Like, I mean, uh, according <laughs> yeah. to what, what he <gasps> said. And- That's true, y'all. It's true. <laughs> But it, if, if, why isn't, this is my question, Sean, and then I'll let you go back to your thing. Mm-hmm. Why isn't Lil Rod just the, filing the claim for himself from his mistreatment from Diddy? Why is he including everybody else? And if Cuba Gooden groped him, why ain't he just suing him separately? I mean, he's at, like he's just running around with a miniskirt being everybody bitch. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, Look, y'all, I just pulled this up. You are right, Gail. Uh, Blackburn got a reputation. Let me play this real quick. Oh, I just closed it. My bad. Dang. I'm about to get that from. That's him. That's him, you guys. That's him. And I guess he had brought in. What did I say? Ah, I I closed the damn thing. I guess he had tried to bring it. Oh, oh, so he was the one that had all of these women. Oh, my God, I remember him now. He was the one that brought in all of these people saying that they slept with T.I. and Tiny. And- oh, at the party? Yes. And, and how when they, walked in, when they hit the doorbell, they was fed a drink? He's a clout chaser. <laughs> Child, he's a clout chaser. And he's done this before. Child, this is a mess. Oh, I knew. I And you just got in trouble. You've been doing this before. Rod, little Rod, if you want to win your case, you got to get rid of him. If you don't have any money, ask any other attorney to do pro bono for you because of these big time names or you about to lose this case. And I'm telling people this right now and y'all can get mad and say, I'm a Diddy lover. That man is more worried about him becoming famous than taking a predator off the damn out of our society. He's more worried about his self child. That's what I love. Thank you, Bama gal child. This is crazy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is a mess. Let me see what other kind of comments y'all got. Uh, that's why Diddy walking around. <laughs> what is it? Ike, he's not like he's not worried. He is. He's not worried. So we heard that they celebrated when they found out that uh, black men did the same thing. He just got in trouble for two days ago. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. This is a mess. That was the wrong lawyer. It. Well, I just seen. Uh, let me find this again. Hold on. Go ahead, Perry. What, oh, what, were you gonna say? what are your thoughts? Do you think Nas and, and what's the name hooked up? No, you know what? I don't know, right? I mean, because oftentimes we can just judge from the outside and say whether they did or not. Mm-hmm. But my whole thing is, if they did, that's, that it was both consensual to both of them. Well, if they did or not, mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I don't know. But you know, we can just keep going with these rumors and all this stuff coming about who was in the closet with who. When we just talking about the law cases. And see, in my opinion, Lil Rod is just going down 
storylines of all the things he's heard over the years and throwing them out there, hoping that Diddy would settle with him. Let's get back to you was mistreated, inserted from Diddy. Focus on your case. We don't need no community uh, police from you, Lil Rod. Just say what you want to say. I, I think he's hurting his case if these things happen to him by throwing all these things that don't matter. If, if Lil Rod feel like he got mistreated by Diddy, just file that part. Get right to the point. Show the evidence. He said he got a lot of evidence. Just it's show it. What do you think about people out in these? <laughs> I mean, people are going to think T.I. And, and what's the name here? Um, well, yeah. I mean, these days, though, on social media, everybody, a lot of people get accused of that now. Period. For whatever reason, because it draws clicks and views, I guess. Here is you know it. I mean? I'm going to play this. Hold on. Let me play this. I think this is him. This it looks like him. Unfortunately, I have not heard back from any of the local police departments in Georgia. Uh, I don't know. That's him. Uh, That's what, him. What? Uh, what it says attorney representing is. women so accusing I TI of abuse. That's why that. it took me so um, long. I have been speaking to federal prosecutors though. Um, and to the that's him, the that's uh, him. agencies which I can't name, um, um, that are located in Georgia. So they are, I'll put a one in the chat if this looked like that's him. That is him. He represented the women in the TIK and tiny case. That is him. Hold on, let me put this up. That's him. Yeah, you. What do you think, Perry? You want to see this other picture? I'm not sure. Did they say his name? Yeah, it says it. I'll okay. put it back in a minute. Hold on. I want. So this is Little Rod's attorney. That's him. Get a good look. Thank you, Dorothy. Everybody's saying that's him. That's him. I don't need to put it back. That's him. This man is going to flub the case. It's a mess. It's a mess. It is a mess. Someone said T.I. settled. Well, that's what they trying to make Diddy do, but he going to end up blowing the case. It says his name. Yeah, let me put it back up. One more time. Child, this is messy. Oh, my God. The whole damn thing is messy. <laughs> See where it says right here? Attorney representing uh, women accusing T.I. of a of the stuff speaks to LAPD confirms. And then in the description, I don't know if it shows it. It says attorney Tyrone Blackburn. That's him. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Thank you, gal. Girl, this is a mess. He is about to blow this case. And I can't tell everybody it's not looking good in court for little Rod or, or Rodney Jones. It's not looking good. I see too many hoes, too many ways but once he got in trouble on the other case and the and then once the judge said you're doing this for clout and you're not following the rules right uh, well, I mean, the feds will take over if they really want diddy they might take over but it ain't gonna be in this case and then so the feds are not going to go after Diddy unless they have concrete evidence because they're right. not going to mess up their record. But all of this, these civil lawsuits, because Little Rod's case is falling apart, is not really that much they can hang on to. And I think it's very suspicious. <laughs> there was only one person around when Kristen did this, and that's Little Rod. Like, what? I just want to hear from one other person. That's it. Because I believe, I believe that Diddy is guilty. I also believe that Diddy pays off, what do you call them? Witnesses. He pays off witnesses. Mm -hmm. He didn't pay people off. And he going to walk. I believe Diddy is freaky. <laughs> I think 
that he get with these people. Mm-mm. A lot of them with consent. Some of them maybe not if they spike the drink. But I think when it comes to the Little Rock case, I think he's just looking for a payday. Like he's suing Diddy for something he done wrong, but ninety percent of it is about other people. How is that gonna win? Win him a case? He's looking mm-hmm. for a settlement. Mm-hmm. Uh, look. I got two interesting comments. Sloan Bella, who I'm in love with now, I'm in love with her, said that he's going down. I believe her, but I don't know how it's going to work, Sloan. Maybe is it another case? Because right now, uh, I believe Blackburn is about to be removed. If the feds wanted him, he would be in jail, at least out on bail. Yeah, that's, that's, that's if true. If they had enough to charge him. See, that's the whole thing. Like uh, A search point is just a want to go in to see if you can find evidence. But he hasn't been charged with anything. Yeah. D- uh, Callie says, I believe Diddy is a swinger and a drug user, not a trafficker. Well, we about right. to find out. So wait, what were they telling us about trafficker? What about something about the liquid sea cane? What- oh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was, they, they, they were starting to say that he's smuggling drugs like the sea cane yeah uh-huh. mm. All right, you know he's trying to find something but too like what's weird about the search warrant is just for the legal uh trafficking or whatever and i was always uh, like under the impression for myself that if they went in and found something else they could use it against them but i'm being told by a lot of people they can't that they can only do stuff pertaining to that warrant that's what i think so it says Cassie filed a police report as well. She's taking the right steps to take him down ethically. We met his match with her. We did. I wish she would have went through with it, but he might have paid more witnesses off. It sounds crazy. Like you just paid off what? Mm-hmm. 10 people. But I think he does it. I, I really do. So I don't know. But in, I don't know. I believe in so- Sloan Bella. I really do. You're great. I don't know how this is going to work out. And Blackburn, I think you're about to be removed or sanctioned again. You are thirsty. And Leroy, you got to get a new attorney. Anybody will take this case pro, bo- pro bono, I think. Let me see well, what I mean, if I was an attorney, I wouldn't take it, not just with what he's saying. Because, I mean, he's sitting there and act like he is some, like, like, Little Rod acting like he's an attorney representing all the people, bad things. So you that mean, you're not Little Rod, you're talking about his attorney. And know, he did no. the same thing in the T.I. case. And they, but, that case, did it ever go to court, you guys? T.I. and the girls? Uh, they said it's, uh, that T.I. settled, somebody said. That's what he's that, trying was, to do again. But, what I'm saying is, Little Rod, I feel like he don't feel like he got a case for himself, that he included all these other things about these other people. That's what you that keep saying. Don't relate to him. You don't like the way the lawsuit is written up. You think no, it's, I don't. But it's I, not I don't. written up to go to court. It's written up for right. Diddy to yeah, settle. Right, right, right. For a settlement, right? It seems like to me it's just all that it's a shakedown to me. Let me read these. I got some cup a uh, real interesting. They don't make their money from music. Wake up people, tunnels under his house in Cali. He does have tunnels under his house. X trafficking and children is where the money is. Ooh. That's where how you think Diddy makes his money. Ooh. All right. I seen another oh, interesting one here. Uh, Sloan Bella is an agent for the feds. I hope she is. Now, I don't really like psychics. I just don't. I just think I don't really like psychics. But I know a good one when I see one. She's a good one. Let me see. Hey, Bonji. She says, Cali Nola, what about Brother Lo-? Y'all messy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this last one. I think Diddy paid Blackburn off. Oh, wait a minute, Belinda. The stuff that Blackburn is doing makes no common sense. <laughs> Belinda, I think you're on to something. I think he paying witnesses off, lawyers off, cops off. I don't know what took me so long to figure it out. I mean, why she had to figure it out, why Belinda had to figure it out for me. But you are right. 
-hmm. this is not going to court. It's not going to court. He he Blackburn will take the money. I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. You don't intentionally throw any judge's orders away as if the judge didn't say it. I'm going I'm to read this one more time for the people that are coming in because this judge is not playing with him and he up here playing house. Let me see if I can find it. This is what the judge said about Blackburn. He about to get kicked off this case <sighs> or, or mess the case up so it doesn't stand a chance in court. I hope y'all can see this because I'm blind. Can you read that, peep, uh, Perry? Right here. You guys see where my marker is? I can see that. It says a reasonable interference from Blackburn's pattern of behavior is that he improperly files cases in federal court to garner media attention. She just called him a clout chaser. The judge called him a ch clout chaser. Ho, oh. <laughs> she said, <laughs> uh, to gain, uh, garner media attention, embarrass defendants with salacious allegations and pressure defendants to settle quickly. So he might be out there throwing them allegations out there about Meek Mill, about T.I. and Nas. Mm -hmm. It's the damn attorney. It makes sense to me now. It's the damn attorney. He said, indeed, his submissions to this court have been rife with disturbing allegations against the defendants and defense counsel. Child, the attorney is intentionally messing up the case. He's been paid off. I can't nobody tell me nothing different. Nobody can, la, 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 la. He's been paid off. He's been paid off. Oh, well. He's been paid off. He could be, have been paid off. Or the other way, he could just be an attorney that was trying to do a shakedown. And it's just not, I mean, because if you don't have a case, you don't have a case. But some people try to manipulate that to a settlement. If I throw out all these different allegations on you. And some people, Michael Jackson had this problem, will pay people off just to kill the kill it yeah. in the media, right? Uh -huh. But, you know, and I Everybody think when, up, well, when he settled with Cassidy, that now people feel like they can just jump on that bandwagon and shake them down too. Hmm. Uh, Bonji said we should also be talking about uh, Diddy's failed charter school in New York. That's a, it's so many stuff we can talk about. Yeah. It's too much. But one of them is, I believe in my heart, uh, Blackburn's been paid off. Put a one in the chat if you think Diddy paid off Tyrone Blackburn. Child, he did. Let's see what y'all think. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. This is a mess. This, the gossip is a mess. The the stuff. Blackburn equal black. To think. Oh, everybody. Look, I'm gonna slip. Everybody agrees. Child, it's the only thing that makes sense. Mm, mm, mm. Who told me that, Perry? Was it Belinda? That was Belinda. I, I can't remember who told you. It was Belinda. Thank you, Belinda. Child, it's the only thing that makes sense. Anyway, uh, I'll be back today with other stories. I just wanted to tell this one first. I'll be back in probably like two and a half hours. Child, thank you, Belinda. Girl, <laughs> Belinda, thank you. Why didn't it? I've been reading this stuff and going over it and going over it. And you have two pairs. Why didn't we just figure this out? Like he no, paid no, off mean, the witnesses and he didn't play it off the attorneys. I just assumed that he's he filed the case, hoping for a shakedown, knowing it wasn't the case. That's when they come added all the extra stuff in mm -hmm. all these other people, uh, Motown and all them, so they can, hey, you know, Diddy. It's making us look bad. You need to, you know, shut that down. Anything for a settlement. Anything. Child. Yeah. Right. Anyway. All right, you guys. Thank you. This has been a great show today. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you. Okay. And me and Perry will be back about two and a half, three hours to talk about other stuff. We have yeah. to talk about the downfall. We have to talk about the downfall of Carlos King. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm a, I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.